Well, I... I wonder if Daddy got home yet. Hello, Daddy. Oh, hello, Snooks. Where's the baby? He's in the bathtub. Good heavens. Haven't you got more sense than to leave a 15-month-old child in a bathtub? Look out. He won't drown, Daddy. How do you know? Because I tied his nose to the faucet. <laughs> Robespierre, are, are you all right? Is he still alive? Yes, but there might very easily have been a tragic accident. Why? Because nobody goes off and leaves a baby in a tub full of water. <laughs> I did. I know you did, and don't let it happen again. The very idea. The very idea. Stop that. Come on, little fella. Daddy will dry you off. <laughs> Is he a boy, Daddy? Why, of course he's a boy. Fetch me a towel, please. Why? So I can dry him before he catches a cold. Why don't you hold him in front of the electric fan? Now, never mind those diabolical ideas of yours. Get a towel, quick. <laughs> a boy towel or a girl towel? <laughs> Any towel. And hurry, I'm getting wet all over. Here's a towel, Daddy. Shall I hit him with it? <laughs> Give it to me. There. We'll have you dry in a jiffy, little man. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. <laughs> <laughs> when he laughs, he looks like you, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, he does at that, doesn't he? Yeah. He's all nose. <laughs> That's all. Well, hand me the baby powder. Let me shake it on him, Daddy. Oh, all right, but go easy. <laughs> oh, no. You're putting it all over his face. Let him swallow some, Daddy. No, it'll poison him. Would it poison him if he ate a cake of soap? Why, of course it would. Well, it didn't. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me the child ate some soap? Uh-huh. When did that happen? When I was quietly pushing it in his mouth. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm only fooling, Daddy. Well, I certainly hope so. Now let me get little Roby to bed. I'm expecting a man here soon. With a new car? Yes. I hope I can get him to allow me $100 on my old one. Why? Because no other dealer will allow me more than 75 Oh, and that reminds me. What's that baloney you were handing Mr. Powell about me being rich? It's just baloney, Daddy. Yeah, I know it is. But why on earth do you go to such trouble to make up those fantastic stories? It ain't no trouble. <laughs> I've told you time and again, every American child should try to emulate the great George Washington. Who's he? Oh, don't tell me you've never heard of George Washington. Why? Don't you learn anything of that broken-down school of yours? <laughs> Ain't it awful? Horrible. Yeah. Oh, Snooks, you must have heard of him. Who was our first president? Columbus? <laughs> no, it was Washington. George Washington. That's the first thing you learn, the names of our presidents. The first president was Washington. The second was Adams. The third president was... Uh, 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 you mean to tell me you never heard of Washington? <laughs> Who was the third president, Daddy? I think it was Taft, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> now, let me put Robespierre in bed, and then you can go to sleep. Oh, I want to see the new car. Well, I'd rather not have you around. I have to make a deal with the salesman on our old car. And it might take a bit of finagling. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> All right, Rosemary. Slide on there. <laughs> good night, baby. Good night. Well, say good night to your little brother, Snooks. Good night, Moose Nose. <laughs> All right. Get into your pajamas. What's finagling, Daddy? Oh, it's a musical term for sharp practice. Just forget him. The man's here, Daddy. I'll let him in. Wait, I'll go. Good evening, Mr. Higgins. I brought the new car. I want to see it. No, all right. Come on, but leave the door open. <laughs> Robespierre might wake up. Here's the car. Beauty, isn't she? <laughs> I like it. Oh, fair-looking car. Uh, of course, you understand the deal depends on how much you allow me for my car. Naturally. Well, I think I should tell you I had the car down to another dealer yesterday, and he offered me 600 on a trade. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> well, I'm confident 
revenue that we can match anybody's offer. Why, I believe we'd even make an allowance of $50 for that dilapidated old rattle trap of a car. <laughs> Which car? Right there in front of the new one. That's our car, mister. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Yes, sir. That dilapidated old rattle trap of a car does happen to be my automobile. Well. <laughs> Start for Maitland, Daddy. Now, you keep quiet. <laughs> Go in the house. No, I want to ride in the new car. There's not going to be any new car. <laughs> I can see this man doesn't want to make a deal. Oh, now, just a minute, Mr. Higgins. I'm sure we can get together. Of course, I haven't tried your old car. Well, you can take my word for it. It runs as smooth as a top. Doesn't it, Snooks? Yeah, and the motor can make more noise. Never mind. (laughs) Well, I'd like to drive it around the block and get an idea of what... Oh, what a pity. I just remembered I gave my wife the keys to the car. She won't be back for a week. Oh, Daddy. (laughs) What's the matter with you? Mommy's playing in bridge at Mrs. Tunnels. And she said she'd be home... That's what she told you. I happen to know she won't be home for a week. You hear me? A week! (laughs) I hear you, Dad. That's fine. (laughs) So does George Washington. Uh, Mr. Higgins, we don't usually set a trade in price without testing the car. But inasmuch as there isn't a great deal of money involved... Well, what do you mean? I want $600 for this car. <laughs> You're just joking, eh? Why, certainly not. Well, oh, I'll give us $75, and at that, I'm stretching it. Daddy, I think I hear Ralph's Pierre yelling. Oh, he is? Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you like to have this nice new car, young lady? Uh-huh. But the man from the factory's going to be awful mad if you get the old one. What factory? The factory that made the car. What does he want with it? Well, I heard him tell Mommy he wants to buy it because it's got a million miles on it. A million miles? Uh Uh-huh. And he wants to put it in the store with all the new cars. I see. Sort of an advertising stunt. Yeah. Uh, how much did he offer for it? Do you know? Two hundred dollars. And what did your mother say? She asked for two (laughs) thousand. So the man laughed and went away, eh? Uh Uh-huh. And then he came back later and offered her fifteen hundred dollars. What? He said she would talk to Daddy, but she ain't seen him yet. Uh, uh you you mean your Daddy doesn't know about this offer? No, well, what I'm going to tell him. Uh, when... j- j- just a minute, my dear. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to play a sort of a joke on your Daddy, you know. Yeah. And if you don't say anything, I'll give you this dollar. All right, I won't say anything. Here, put it away. Because he no, been mistaken, Snooks. He's sound asleep. Is he? Uh, Mr. Higgins, I've been thinking. I know you want this new car pretty badly, so I've decided to offer you two hundred dollars for your old one. Well, that's more like it. It's two hundred more than fifteen hundred, Daddy. Oh, of course. Oh, not. Yeah, I, I, I might press it a bit and make it two fifty. Press it a little more, Mister. <laughs> now you just stay out of this, Snooks. Oh, leave it to a child to spoil a deal. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Well, two fifty <laughs> seems to be more in line, but if you can... Look, I'll give you three hundred, not a cent more. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Here, sign these papers. I uh, just remembered I have to get back to the showroom. Very important appointment. All right, here you are, sir, and thank you. Thank you. You can use the car right now, and I'll have your old car picked up tonight. That's fine. Goodbye, old man. Goodbye, Mr. Higgins. Goodbye, little lady. Goodbye. <laughs> well, uh, let's go in, Snooks. <laughs> oh, guess your old dad knows how to make a deal, eh? <laughs> See the way I made him push his price up? <laughs> You're wonderful, Daddy. Oh, pretty smart operator. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, Snooks, how would you like to take a ride to the studio? All right, I've got Daddy. to collect a little bet. Yeah, I'll go. On. Well, let's go. Daddy. Yes? I think I know what finagling is. Well, don't ever try it. Come on. 